Hello everybody. Uh, we are into a game against humans. Let's have a look at what they got going on. Don't recognize the coach right from the get-go. Oh, interesting. This team looks like... Okay, this is a very bashy team that's also been very bashed. Good record though. Looks like they ran into some, uh, necro. That was a very, okay, it was a very quick game. Looks like they conceded me, oh yeah, they can, so they conceded that one. And then they've been, boy, so many concessions. It is a nice thing about, I mean, if you want to call it nice, it is one thing about playing extremely bashy teams is that you will get uh, conceded on quite a lot. Ooh, they've got a lot of petty cash for some reason. That's weird. Doesn't that boost their team value up? I mean, not a lot. Hang on. No, I okay. My my brain stopped working there. They They have, yeah, they have a lot of petty cash, which is not surprising. I, for some reason, my brain put that on top of the 140k that they already have. Uh, so what do we actually have here? We've got three guards. Uh, this guy is movement broken. This guy is movement broken. And this guy is agility broken. Uh, two nasty guys that we need to try and keep our hobgobs away from as best we can. He's got mighty blow first skill on everybody. Missing the stand firm, which is nice. So there's not a lot of team here. Uh, okay, didn't dip too far in. Just a wizard and a babe. All right. Ooh. So let's see how this goes. Definitely going to be a, a bit of a weird one. I imagine he's going to be piling on uh, every opportunity. This feels like somebody that's built a, you know, team for bashing. Kale Store's probably not what he wants to run into, but I mean, we're not the worst Kale Store's you could run into, so there is that. We'll often try and get the, uh, the early up on, you know, bashing. But yeah, I think if you were, uh, if I was a Dark, uh, well, you know what, if you were Dark Elves against this, You'd be worried about your players dying, but I think you'd still feel like you're probably going to win. That's not fair. You'd feel like you had a reasonable chance. Oh, sorry. Because the ogres, I mean, sure, the ogre is, can be a problem, but you can also just dodge away from him. Uh, he's got, this guy's the most scary guy. This guy is obviously quite, the jump up is nice, you need to remember that. Not to put any hobgoblins next to him. I mean, honestly, it's pretty solid. Does he have? He doesn't have any multi injuries, does he? No. Okay, just checking. Uh, we probably should leave the dirty player on. I don't really want to carry with our. Uh, ball carrier because he's he's quite good but I don't want to take him off just to like that's like hurting our chances there so I think we kind of have to unfortunately Uh, let's see. Oh, we got tackle on that guy. That's right. That's nice. Uh, there's no need for this. Yeah, actually, we'll leave him there just in case it's a bad kick for us. We're pretty just going boom. Boom, boom, boom. Down the line. Maybe try and blitz this guy. We'll see. That's the plan. Pretty simple. Did I see rerolls there? Nope. 
Okay. Uh, sure, yeah. We'll move these guys up. No frenzy, at least. So these guys can move forwards. I'm gonna actually pop this guy in here to make this a little less vulnerable. That's fine, that's fine. So Bull is already screened off, so I think we're going for hits right from the get-go. And that's how we moved our guy forwards. Move this guy forward to give him an assist. Forward we go. I think we're just going to bring these guys in. Keep things nice and tight. Excellent. So not a lot of joy out of the initial hits, apart from knocking him over a lot. But, you know, I mean that in and of itself is something. Just move up here. See if we can grab this. Okay, so that did come in useful there. And we will pop the ball here, seeing as we've knocked over this entire side. Not really the guy, any of the guys that we knocked over are really worth fouling. So we won't employ the uh, dirty player. If he sends somebody valuable round, maybe we go after them. I mean, even this catcher, does he have a thrower? doesn't have a throw, so even this catcher would be potentially worth if we don't injure him uh, jumping on. But we'll see. Okay. I guess this is just a little pressure to keep us honest. Who's he blitzing here? Is he going to try and blitz the bull, perhaps? If he puts another guard in here, maybe he's going to try and... Yep, so he's going after the bull. People often do, which is fair, I guess. We're going to use this guy. Try and pile on. I mean, only if he has to, though. Now the question will be, if he does do this, and he does pile on, will he bring somebody round beyond? I think he's going to. So is he going to bring like another guy around to help protect? So we can potentially get a little bit of a foul here. Yep, he is. Okay. That's what I figured, pretty much. I don't really see anything over on this side to stop us uh, heading out here. So, I don't know if he'll get these guys up, even. It'd actually be kind of good if he did, I think.
This is not such a good dodge. There we go. Okay. Alright, so that being the case... I think we're blitzing the ogre. I'm not sure how I feel about this, but I have now done it, so... There you go. Does give us a second hit here. The ball is slightly screened, so there is that. Not getting any luck from that yet. Do have the wizard to worry about. I do need to remember that. So this could be a big mistake here. But it's gonna be awkward, I think. Uh, let's see. See if we'll dodge out. Nice, he's break tackle, so I just sit there. So he can stand this guy up, stand this guy up, and get a jump up. Blitz on this guy, which is pretty nice. Uh, he might be considering the wizard, because we've got a pre He's got a 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 man wizard here, so he might go for this. Or he could go for the 5 man and include the other hobgoblin. This has got to be tempting. Yeah, he's given it a good thing. He might go for it. He doesn't have a lot of ins to the cage outside of that, though. Without putting him some serious work. So he might be considering, well, if this goes wrong, that's kind of my... Yep, okay. So he held off. We put enough in there to make him consider... Because the problem with doing the fireball against Kale Storse is uh, that you're, you know, you worry that you're not going to actually get many people affected by it. And, you know, we've got this guy on this corner, this guy on this corner, this guy on this corner, outside of the cage. So he might just save it for a lightning bolt. Am I surprised at this? I'm not sure. Maybe? What's the plan? Doesn't really want to chain push him here, because this guy's got a jump up blitz coming up, so... here? Okay, just straight down the middle. Gets the KO. Very nice. I think I'm gonna let that one go. Obviously we've not had a lot of luck on the armor breaks yet. But uh you know, we still have a decent amount of strength here. We could we could easily have a, a better run with the armor breaks coming up.
Likes to leave everything a little bit light, so maybe this next? Yeah. Jump up works, that's got to be nice. Ooh, into the injury. Not cool. He's getting so much out of that. I'm really appering to keep him in the game. I mean, the movement would suck, but... Okay, has left us a mighty blow blitz. I mean, a block here. No dice there. Part of me wants to blitz here and then foul here. Is it worth it? Or do we just do we just go for position? I think maybe we just go for position. Because we'd be going backwards to do that, and I don't like that. Oh, we're not doing anything to him. Which is not what we're looking for. That's a dodge. I mean, it doesn't really have anything coming up that way, so maybe we just make this block. Probably come after the Hobgoblin there. I don't think we've even... No, did we stun him? Maybe I'm being unfair there. I think we maybe have got one stun so far, so... Certainly not what we're looking for. We need to get things kicking off a bit here. Uh, from our perspective, because he he does only have 11, but we're not making him pay for that yet. Guess he was just thinking through the wizard a little bit there at least. I'm surprised he didn't move into contact with one of them. It's how, you know, honestly, I'm so, like, in the mindset of, um, trying to stall that I hadn't even considered putting this in. But honestly, I'm wondering about putting this in this turn. We would get this guy back, and we don't get this guy back, we get this guy. Which I'm not saying is great, but it's something. And, um, you know, obviously we're just, if we try and stall, we're just tempting the wizard, so... I honestly think that might be the plan unless something changes that. Looks like he's going for the Hobgobo again. He's chaining something. Is he just trying to chain this guy free? Nope. I don't know what he's going for. May oh, maybe... No, I'm not sure. Waiting for the injury sound. 
Okay, the KO sand is better. It's always sad when you get outbashed by humans, but it, it does happen. Can't really get a good hit on him. Uh Okay, I think we can get a hit on this guy. Just trying to get my guards in place. One, two, oh, three, four. It would be a GFI. Which I don't really want to make. So we'll just do it without Mighty Blow. And we'll regret it because we would we would have hurt him. I'm sure we'll have hurt him if we'd had Mighty Blow. Let's see the armor. No, we wouldn't. Never mind. We're still rolling pretty low. So let's go in. I think let's let's get the wizard out of the way for the moment. And have a have a go at um defending instead. Do either of our KOs come back? Both of them. Okay, that's actually really nice. Because the bulls are going to be essential to this. I didn't I didn't want to say it beforehand. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh, you know what? Let's do this. Let's keep our dirty player in the middle, actually. I feel like he's just going to go after one of these guys and pile on again. Yeah, it feels weird to, to score before you technically need to. Because we could have stored that out, but he was getting the best of the attrition, whereas now we're back to even. Um... And I don't have to think about the wizard for the moment. You know, the, the downside to this is that he might score, right? But we might have had to push it in two turns ahead anyway, because he probably wizards on turn seven. And then you're giving them a two turn chance. This way he's got to sort of take his time a little bit. Which me which gives us a chance to attack him back. So it doesn't look like he's gonna push hard down the flank, he's just gonna to continue to rely on Mighty Blow to do the do the work. Alright, that's not so bad. <clears throat> Let's see what the plan is. I don't think either of us used a reroll in that first part of the half. I wouldn't object to some pushes. <laughs> 
Okay. Well, there goes one. There's a push. We've been thoroughly, thoroughly outbashed so far. Just gotta hope that that turns around. It was one of our guard ones, so I guess that's a new chance for somebody to get claw for a skill, right? I think some people actually will fire their guys if they don't get it. Which is fair enough. If you're, if you're going purely for the absolute killiest of teams. Sweet. Oh, that's just a lineman. Okay. Alright. Okay, okay. Maybe just worried about this guy coming around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, he wants to be a little bit careful. So I think this is just as easy as moving up one. 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 Sorry, I should just stop saying that, shouldn't I? <laughs> and then we'll have a crack at this guy, which won't knock him over. We, yeah, we did knock him over. Excellent. You know what? I'll take a stun. I mean, I'd have taken a KO more, but a stun, you know, it's out for a turn. Aye, aye, aye. He has really knocked us over a lot. Ooh, that frees up a hit on the Hobgoblin as well. I think this guy should have been here. He would, he would have at least had to bring in one more person for that. Oh, that doesn't open up a hit, because he stayed where he was. Okay, never mind. Can hit our guard here as well. Maybe he'll roll some both downs or something. Looks like he's just going to go after the centaur instead. Sweet. Don't think he's going to make much more of a move here.
think he's just going to make this hit and be happy, probably. I suppose that's... hmm. Interesting. Okay, so we can we can potentially envelop one round here. This guy would probably be getting knocked down, but unless he's going after the mighty blower. Well, they're both mighty blow. One, two, three, boom. Okay, yeah, so guards going in here. I should think about where I'm hitting here. Honestly, I think I'm hitting on this side. Just to keep him uh, a little bit from uh, having quite so much movement down this way. I thought that was going to be better. Uh, we can bring this guy in here. Not my favourite foul ever. Not sure about this. I feel like he's gonna come back this way, but he does have to do a lot of blocking to do it, so we will have another turn to react afterwards. And this puts a lot of pressure on this side. So I think first things first, he'd want to hit this guy. Well, that now does give him two dies on more, more people. Yeah, it's interesting. Okay, so he's going to reverse. Double skulls into double pet, that's double ones into double twelves. I mean double twelves. Double sixes. 
probably push this in here so you can continue to come around. I don't know if you pile on here. Oh, never mind. Because it really limits your uh, ability to run away. Can he get into a scoring position? One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, he can definitely get into a scoring position if he wants to. But I don't know that he gets a lot else around there with him. And it's going to be hard to get away from this guy. I don't think he has the speed to fully escape us. If he manages to knock down these guys, he might be able to get a two dice on this guy, which would which would solve his problems a lot. Oh, he's already used his reroll as well. Okay, yeah, that's uh, relatively safe. Oh, that does block our route as well. Unless we chain him away. Uh, let's see. So we've just got plus one strength on each side there, so that's kind of awkward. What about it going this way? You did that. Well, he's not in scoring range, so that does help us out here. Still think we want this guy over. Maybe we just bring this guy back as well. stay on this one. Uh, let's see, I think getting in the way makes sense. We go here. That makes running around harder as well. Excellent. Sweet. Okay, that's really nice. Hey! Armor breaks. 
Okay, that was that was a solid turn. Obviously, we needed that one dice to be solid, but uh, I wanted the chain onto the catcher was really nice. Because now he's got, like, he, he you know, I, what I was worried about was the return to this side, hand off to that guy, and he comes down here. Maybe he finds somebody to mark this guy, although I don't know who. Uh, this guy's still a problem, but we do have a wrestler and a tackler, kind of slightly behind the lines. I suppose you could argue that the wizard would be worth using at some point uh, in these next two turns. You know, if he did, if he had got him away, he could bolt with it. Well, this guy would still be free, so I don't know. I imagine he's gonna blitz the whole goblin, unfortunately. There's not too much we can do about that, apart from, I guess, if we had followed here. But I wanted to keep this guy free to make a move next turn. Hmm, is he going to put in the reroll? I mean, this guy's not really a problem for the ball, but it does... Yeah. Save the reroll for probably a dodge later in the turn, I imagine. Is he going to bring this guy down to mark somebody? Like, do a screen off situation? I'm not sure. Who else is he going to get anywhere near this, I wonder? I mean, this guy could maybe come here. Well, that's handy for moving these guys, in fairness. Might tag, tag up. to go. Oh, I wonder if he's trying to get here. He's got in the way of this guy, though. Just got him up in time. Alright, so I think our best bet is come in and hit like this. Don't really want to tag this guy with the with that guy. Uh, we're three. I suppose the other thing is if we get another guy in there, we do get. Yeah, that might be better. On second thoughts. Three dice to tackle just seems like a lot better idea. It's in two tackle zones. I think that kind of does the trick for us. That's a dodge. Okay, he's... he's on a player. Hmm. 
Problem is, if I put in another tackle zone... I could try and foul him, I suppose. If I put in another tackle zone here, he might just dodge through is the problem. Okay, that helps. Sweet. Just getting as few hits as possible now. So this is possible, you know, it's, it's, uh, definitely possible, but it's awkward. This guy being one square this way would be, like, done. So that's a pity that we didn't do that, but... You know, we got two players out, so there's that. We're down one for sure, and then whatever he uh, demolishes this turn. The nice thing about this is for him is he can just pile on with impunity here, so... And uh, is he going to go for the ball, or is he going to go for a big hit? You know, it could pile on the Hobgoblin, pile on the Dirty Player, although that's more tricky. So this guy's an easier guy to pile on. Could come back and pile on a Chaos Dwarf, potentially. No, he's going for that guy. Okay. So, our poor ball carrier, who we said, let's not expose him to any <laughs> piling on, is about to get uh, absolutely wrecked. Oh. Might foul him. He's very, uh, aggressive. Yep, he's going for it. It makes sense. It's a it's a worthwhile trade, I think, from his perspective. If they both go, okay, neither went. So interesting situation here. Uh, let's see. Okay, I need to get this back in order. Uh, let's see. I think I'm just going to put the Hobgoblin up there, you know. I'll be right back. So I'm kind of expecting the quick score here. Oh, I don't know why these guys aren't at one. Oh, 
I'll take that reroll. Quick score. Did he set up on one side? No, he didn't. Okay. I really expected him to try and, like, fast score this and then go for, uh, you know, try and wizard us. Especially with less players now. No way you're re-rolling that, surely. Okay, just considering what to do. So that's fine. So you make this. And then he's going to come back for the three dice there. Oh, he went after that guy. Going for the centaur. Gets him. Is he going to push into the hole? Stun is good for him. Stun is very good. Is he going to come down or something? Potentially gives the centaur a turn to get back to his senses. So I guess we're going to see the two dice and then the three dice, maybe? Really surprised he didn't put the... Well, never mind. <clears throat> Who needs Mighty Blow? I really expected them to take, you know, put more effort into getting that guy off the field, seeing as it's hard to get Chaos Dwarfs off, but uh, it was, was not to be. Okay. I think we're gonna change tack slightly here. And just try and hit normal guys. Centaurs up, I feel a lot better about this. Yeah, this is what we're going to do. It's a bit weird, but this is what we're going to do. We're going to have a very loose screen that can be punched through, but we do have our emergency hobgoblin at the back. We've tagged the ball. He'll, he's got to decide if he wants to make his blitz backwards, in which case he's not pushing through the screen, which he's going for, which makes sense. Try and remove a hobgoblin. But it lets us potentially recover our position a little bit with the centaur. I'd really like to put the dirty player on him, but...
gets the KO. So what does that put us two down? So we're on even players now. I should have moved this guy maybe one more back. So he's going to follow up and then tie both of these guys up. I was trying to use this guy to tie up the ogre, but mistakes were made. But yeah, we're tagging his guard. So his guard can now hit us, but he's making blocks here with non-block guys, right? So all of his remaining blocks are non-block. Okay, he's not blocking here. So just these two, and then maybe dodge aways. Just gonna push us here, that's fine. This one's not so good. Yeah, it's annoying. It's gonna follow that one. Didn't follow. That's great. Guess that's just to protect the ogre. Changed his mind. I think I'll actually try and hit this guy. That was mildly disappointing. Uh, let's move up a little bit. move out a little bit. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is uh, interesting. Okay, I didn't expect him to come down in the middle. Maybe just playing for a draw here. Despite having the wizard. Maybe the wizard is there to guarantee the draw. Okay. Okay, what next? Just going for the casual two dice, why not? Guess there's no argument for popping this guy up here, honestly. 
That's a pretty good one. Okay, we got him in a cage. Needs this block to work though, otherwise the cage is a disaster, obviously. <clears throat> if we both dance this, you've got to reroll. Okay, gets just enough. So we were rewarded for, for that tag. Oh, I like the fact the ogres move. That that gives us a uh, license to get into the cage. I'd like this to be Mighty Blow, but I don't have one without doing rerolls, and I don't want to do that, so. I mean, GFIs. <laughs> uh, stun there would have really helped, because this guy can now get up and make this a lot easier on him. Uh, let's see. Forty-two there. Getting back a little bit. But you can't reroll fouls at times. Oh, sweet. So I've kind of ignored this guy on purpose. Uh, I imagine what he's going to do is just try and pull off the back of here and come round, but I don't know. I don't know how much... Okay, fair enough. Pushes is great, because that gives us our movement still. Just pull him back there, okay. Nope, pull him back here. Is he going to just screen him off at the back? Or is he going for this? Is he going to get out of the way and just come and see if he can make it work with the loner? Loner's eight away as well. Like, he can score, but, like, it's obviously not what you want to do. I ah, might be going for it here. Mm, or not, or not. Well, yeah, maybe. And then this guy's coming up here. Ah. <laughs> I 
Oh, he's going to do like a cage with the ogre here. That ogre probably doesn't want to move. Uh, do an action then in case it fails. He's going to sit here maybe. Or here. Here makes sense. But then do you... Is he brave enough to activate the ogre? One in six. The ogre doesn't work. And we've got a wrestle hit on the, on the ball. Seven, eight, nine. Okay, we have a two dice right now, unless something changes. That's nice, because that, that releases this guy. And we can follow this up to get on both of them. I think I'm going to take the two dice. I think we're going to pressure the ball. Probably. Let me think this through. Because we won't have any kind of retrieval option. So we bring the ball back as cover. Pop this guy here. Disappointing, disappointing. I think we still try and tag. And then we stop him going backwards somewhat. I mean, he could maybe come over and blitz, but it's going to be tricky. can already reach everywhere. So I think we stop it there. Still got the wizard in pocket, but we've got two guys back. I mean, if he ties up the game, it's not a huge surprise, right? But we're just trying to keep a stranglehold here. He's got this guy free. Nobody else is free. Without blitzing them, blitzing or dodging themselves out. Okay, bolted the bull, but he didn't kill him, so or armor break him, so he still kind of has the freedom of the backfield. Don't know how he's going to screen this guy off. It's going to there's going to be some dice rolling this turn. Oh, 
Oh, that went poorly. I didn't even really see quite what happened there. So let's put the bull on the bull. Kind of want to get this guy off of here. Uh, hang on, if we do that, he, we're knocking him onto the... So I think our best bet is this. Very nice. Let's bring you around. Did we blitz yet? We didn't blitz. We did blitz, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Have you not done anything yet? Oh, you haven't. Okay. Nice. Because he might have blitzed him out to try and get round without these other guys being here. Nice. Okay, yeah, that last turn was critically bad for him. So I think the idea was bolt the bull, maybe dodge the, the catcher down here somewhere, and then probably um, somebody dodge through to tag the, the wrestler. But we put so many defensive measures in place that, um, you know, that was a big deal. That's really good as well, because now no guard from him. His other guard's over here. So these guys are providing a real problem for this guy. I mean, this guy can basically not hit anybody here at the moment without some help. Is that the loner? No. It's gonna get our dirty player. It's done more damage to the Kale Stools than the Hub Goblins. Hey, Dwee Beer. Yeah, I think this is, uh, this is looking pretty good. He didn't even get up. That is what we like to see. So, now, the question is... We, the only downside to this game is, uh, losing a Chaos Dwarf. But it wasn't one of our majorly developed ones, just one of our mostly developed ones. I'd really love this guy to score. I think.
for the moment, we'll just try and run up in a safe way. Because he does still have some good players on the field. Uh, let's see, we'll pop you in... Actually, maybe you make the blitz. So we'll bring this guy around here. You blitz through here. I feel like I should have filled this in. I think we'll just pop you there to keep those guys in place. We'll drop you in here. We'll see if he attacks again this turn. How are you going to be, Boo? Have you been playing? Or indeed, are you playing? I know some some people play and watch. I can't. I can't do that. I can sort of talk through what I'm doing and watch, but that's mostly just because, uh, you know, I'm just saying what's going on in my head, so it's a lot easier. But, uh, I can't. No, I mean talk and play. See, I can't even really do that. Okay, if he keeps coming back down this way, I think we're definitely going to try the handoff to this this fellow. We might even try the throw into handoff. Nah, probably not. If he gets everybody up and kind of coming in the right direction, I think we do move. Oh, I thought he might go again. Okay, he's just fouling our dirty player. Stop for a while, dice being horrendous. Yeah, I feel that. Very nice. I think we are going to go for it. So what it's going to require is a couple of screens. Make this as safe as... Oh, you know what? He doesn't have a scoring threat. Okay. Well, that, that makes it a bit less worrying. Did we blitz? We didn't blitz. Maybe we'll just try one dice. We'll see if this works, eh? Yeah, we got it right. No problem. I suppose that being the case, let's spend the GFI to try and get a two dice. Nice. Worth it. This guy has jump up, which I don't like. We have used our Apo as well, so... Uh, I guess we just stamp on him, eh? Uh-oh. <laughs> well, revenge is going to be his. He might make us regret this whole thing. So he gets two hits on us here, effectively. And then we get to level up a Chaos Dwarf.
Yeah, I think the I think the taking a break thing is sometimes not a bad plan. Um, also, sometimes the changing a team if a team if you're just having the worst luck with a team. I did that last season when I I was playing Skaven and I got got on a really good start with them, and then everything like I had like a bunch of games in a row just go horribly and switch to undead and it was kind of more fun so. So I think here comes the jump up. I think he's going to go on the dirty player. I suppose it's the easy meet, right? Turn it into a stun. And then he's got a blitz as well if he wants it. No, he he did that as a blitz to make sure it happened. Okay, fair enough. I don't see any great reason not to go for these blocks, right? Because we don't need the touchdown to win, so if we... We quad skull. It's not really the end of the world. I mean, it would be very sad, but. Oh! Our Chaos Dwarf Nature finally came through. The first half was just all, all him getting the injuries. It's two pile on guys, we're just going to town. Alright, sweet. So, very tense game. Uh, but I think going in early on the first half was, was the right plan. Trust trust in our defense. Make the wizard not so helpful. I think I think that all worked out as we'd have hoped. I gotta buy a new player, so I'm gonna reroll into the traditional second one. Doesn't doesn't stop us from getting it. Ooh, we nearly leveled a second one. His ogre got MVP, which is quite good for him. Yeah, he out armor broke us over the course. Um We did manage to get more injuries in the end, which uh which is nice, but uh Yeah. Nine SPP for Shores off. Uh who is sure that's uh is that a hop is that my... Hmm, who is that? Is that the guy that MVP'd? Yeah, he probably got two injuries in MVP, so he probably earned that. Unusually. Yeah. And then Zorgoth... Gets the almighty... Oh, hello! Well, this is the easiest choice I've ever made. At last, we have somebody to be afeard of. Uh, so that's quite tasty for the future. Now all we're going to face is Skaven and Elves, but you know what? It took us... Uh, let's see how many rolls it took us. It took us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, dead guy, 20. It took us at least 20 rolls to roll a double, which seems pretty impressive in its own way. Uh, we have rolled two movements, so I'm not pretending they don't exist. But double-wise, uh, yeah. So, yeah, that is what we've been sorely needing. And uh, hopefully we can, uh, hopefully we can make them pay. Uh, so we bring in a new Chaos Dwarf, and then off we go. What time is it? Can I afford to do another one here? Um, I don't think I can. I think I have too much to do. I want to play another one. I really do. But I think I have to keep it there. I want to I wanna play another one and test out this claw. Against probably Pro Elves or something. Uh, you know what? We're actually set up pretty well for Pro Elves now with the Movement 7... Uh, wrestle and the tackle on the centaur. I feel like we're, our our game against um, speedy teams has vastly improved. 
yeah, the claw, the claw makes me want to, I just want to, you know, run into some undead or something and just open those guys up. Maybe into some Camry and just use that on the Tomb Guardians and put the fear into them. Um, but I think for the, for the moment, another claw, yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping that, like, this guy dying was obviously a bit sad. I think he just had guard. So I'm kind of looking at him as a potential opportunity for another Claw Mighty Blow. You know, maybe he doubles fast. We might do the same as we did for this guy and go Mighty Blow first. We'll see how we're feeling at the time. Um, But yeah, the team's in a really, a really solid place. I would quite like our ball carrier to get um block. Just to make him a bit more survivable. And maybe I wouldn't... It seems crazy to get Tackle in some ways, but Tackle would be great on this guy. Uh, he's a really he's really nice to use as a second sweeper along with the Centaur, which in this game actually I think saved us because we had both of them back there so he couldn't just bolt our one sweeper. And they're both really... Yeah, block on dodge on the carry. Yeah, if we can get dodge. If we, if we roll a double, he's probably getting dodge first. And this guy will get dodge as well if he doubles. And we just hope that this guy never gets any SPP again. But I guess he will at some point. But yeah. Yeah, solid position. Um, yeah, very... Uh, very excited. And then I guess if we're talking ideals, everybody else in our Hail <laughs> Storth rolls a double for their next skill. Oh, can you imagine? Six... Six claw chaos or I'm sure somebody's had it, but it's hard to imagine how how brutal that would be. Imagine coming up against dwarfs with that; it would just be it w wouldn't be a fair fight. I suppose the one thing now is that Zorgoth is going to be the biggest target, so we need to I need to be like a bit more cagey with him. And you know, I mean, depending what we're up, if we're up against like another. Claw or even another mighty blow, maybe just blitz with him and then retreat. Uh, it's hard with movement four, but that's that's the plan. Uh, so what's that put us? Ten, three, four. We've hit double figures. That's nice. So a couple of wins in a row is very very tasty. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, thanks for popping in, Dweeby. Sorry you caught the tail end, but I mean you caught the bit where things were going well, so. I'm not going to complain about that. Um, and thanks for watching, guys. And uh, it's been very quiet today. I don't know why. I mean, it just... Uh, sometimes I feel like it doesn't put out the the notifications. Kind of curious about that. Because I had the, I had a game the other day and I played. And it also didn't... I had... Uh, I think I had... Somebody come in and say, oh, I didn't even know you were playing. It didn't, didn't shoot me a notification. So I don't know how that works. But anyway, yeah, I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching and bye for now.